Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is another video for tipsquirrel.com. I'm answering a reader's question this week. They've asked me, how can I make it look like the corners of an image are slightly coming off the background? There's a couple of ways of doing it, plenty of hints and tips along the way. Let's get cracking, shall we? First thing I want to do is find the dead center of my layer here called right. So I'm going to make that on active and then press Control T for transform. And you see we've got the transform handles all the way around the outside. There's another little point just there, right in the middle, and that's actually marking dead center of this image. Very helpful. If it's not there, then have a look up here in this little icon and see if it's set to somewhere else. You see it's moved now to the bottom right, bottom top left if I wanted to, but dead center is where I want it. Now Control R to bring up rulers, click in a ruler and drag out. I've still got my mouse button pressed down. I've got a guide now. I can snap that into the middle and I can do the same for my horizontal guide. There we go. And now I've marked out the very center of this layer. I don't want to transform, so I can cancel my, my transform. Next, I need to get a new layer. So I'm just going to make a new layer and I'm going to call this one shadow. Shadow. There we go. Press enter. And I'm going to go and get a brush. Now my brush is set to 20% hardness. And the size, well, it wants to be about, let's say this is a square here, about a third of the height of the square there. So you can see I can fit about three brush, length, uh, brush sizes in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my brush down to the very end, but half on, half off the layer, and press my mouse button. So I'm going to click once. Then bring my mouse to the very center, but inside the image, just about, and then press shift and then click, and you see it draws a straight line. Then over to the left hand side, again, half on, half off, and shift and click. And what we've done there is made our shadow. I can drop that to 40% opacity, 40%, and already we're looking good. Let's drop that down underneath rides, and sure enough, there we are. Let's go and get our move tool. And then I can just, using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can nudge that up to where I want it to be. And there we are. We've done that quite simply. Let's take a look at another way of doing that. So I'm going to put my shadow layer into the bin. This time I'm going to click on the layer called Rides. Then I'm going to double click it to bring up the layer styles. I'm going to use a drop shadow to get us going. And you can see that I'm using 90%, so it's uh, sorry, 90 degrees, so it's straight down. Yep, straight down. Distance at this point doesn't matter, we can always alter that in a little while. But I'm gonna bring it to about there. And I'm gonna click OK. Now that's all very well, but it's got the whole image lifted off of the background, and all I want really is the corners. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up to layer and layer style and then come all the way down to create layer. Some aspects of the effects cannot be reproduced, that's okay. And now you'll see something very strange has happened in our layers palette. Instead of this rides now having an effects layer on it, it's just here, it's dropped it down. So I can use that independently and it's a layer all of its own. If I turn off rides, you can see how it's doing my drop shadow. Okay. Let's go onto our rides drop shadow and make a mask. And now with the foreground color being black and my paintbrush, I'm gonna keep it at 20%, I think, for opacity, sorry, 40. I say 40, I type 20, 20%. And now I can just go in and take away some of the shadow. And I've got a little bit more control over it. There we go. Of course, it also means that I can come and get rid of any shadows that are around the outside that I don't want. Oh, just nearly made another guide there. Okay, there we go. In fact, let's hide these guides. Let's view and clear guides. And once again, I can move this layer around. So once I'm on this layer, go to my move tool and then just nudge it using the keyboard. If the arrows on the keyboard, I can just nudge it up. And there we are. So it kind of did the hard work for us. So there we go, lifting the corners up of an image, nice and simply, right here in Photoshop. 
My name's Eric Reno. I'm one of the Photoshop nuts at tipsquirrel.com. Be sure to join us over there for a whole host of other hints, tips and tutorials. Thanks for bearing with me.